the five regrets of, I don't mean to be depressive, but the five regrets of the dying, the five biggest regrets of people who are dying. Number one, wishing they had the courage to live a life true to themselves, not one that other people expected of them. So go out, be true to you. What is it that you really wish you were doing? More than anything, when you think about what fills you with joy, what is that thing? That's what you should be doing. And, and if you're not sure, get on one of my Confidence and Clarity Boost sessions. Just go to the website and sign up for a Confidence and Clarity Boost session. It's free. Just go ahead and sign up. Um, and, and I'll help you get clarity on that because don't do live a life that somebody else is expecting of you. It's, there's only one of these and life is in session. This is it. It's not a test run or anything else. The second regret is wishing they hadn't worked so hard. Don't kill yourself here. This is That's the story I talked about earlier. There's no reason to. There just isn't. That says it all. Number three, wishing they had the courage to express their feelings. I actually found this one interesting because I didn't grow up talking about feelings. And um, so sometimes I still Google feelings chart and I look at all the feelings and I'm like, it's that one. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, I just didn't grow up talking about them. And so wishing that you have the courage to express your feelings, it's still the people pleaser in me. It's hard for me to actually say how I feel. And, and I've got a situation coming up where I want to be true to myself and um, and tell somebody I have two situations actually coming up. And I cringe even talking about this and thinking about it but I want to be true to myself and do the right thing and walk through my fear. And I'll talk about it after I've actually expressed it. And, you know, I, it's hard to walk through my fears or uncomfortable situations because I'm not used to doing it, but I do these things first thing in the day. And, um, and I'll say, this is uncomfortable for me. I didn't grow up doing this. I might not say it right because I don't have the tools and just be patient with me. I'll, I'll use those kinds of phrases because I don't, <laughs> because they're the truth for me, but I do the best I can. And my daughter's always telling me, mom, you could have said it better. And I'll say, oh, how can I do it? I just ask. It's perfectly okay to ask. Okay. Number four, wishing they stayed in touch with friends. I just found that to be so sad and so interesting. So call your friends, stay in touch. And if you didn't hear Marissa G. Franco's episode on how to make friends as an adult, I love that episode. I semi-stalked her to get her as a guest on 52 Weeks of Hope. I just thought she was amazing. I heard her TED Talk. Uh, she's a professor and she wrote an amazing book on how to have friends as an adult. And OK, here's the here's a truncated clipped version. Be vulnerable, <laughs> be authentic and be vulnerable. I guess that isn't that surprising, but just be yourself. and. Yeah, take a chance. And it's not as easy as an adult. You're not in the same clubs or the cliques, or maybe you're not in mom groups or anymore or whatever it is. So find common interests, like I said earlier, and just take a chance. That's what it is. And number five regret of those on the who are dying is wishing they let themselves be happier. Gotta laugh. Gotta just have to. So that's why I wanted to make this episode of how to feel better now, because you need to be happy. I, um, I didn't realize that I was being wound up so tight until I listened to my associate. She's in a choir and she gave me the link to their show the other night. And I started listening and it made me so happy. And it wasn't until I realized how happy I was dancing around, just kind of listening and, and enjoying it. And I thought, I don't dance around and listen to good music in the evening nearly as much as I should. Not that um, anybody wants to listen to me sing, but I just really enjoyed listening to her. And I couldn't thank her enough for giving me the link. And uh yeah, that made me really happy. So what makes you happy? What fills you with joy? That Go listen to some of your favorite music. That will make you feel better right now. Just listen to your favorite song. Then belt it out. Dance. Dance like no one's watching because nobody's watching. It's the one thing I've definitely learned. 
Nobody is paying attention. I haven't learned a diplomatic way to say that, but nobody's watching you. I mean, your kids are if you have kids, but if they're watching you be happy and have fun, that's a good thing. To anybody who's a a regular listener or you're on the website or anything else or on my email list, you know, I probably gotten a lot of emails about your life roadmap to clarity and confidence. The workshop, I it didn't happen. So I'm just, I'm not sure exactly, but I think I was charging too much for it. So I've postponed it. And yeah, I didn't, I, people didn't sign up. I really, really flattered by how many people promoted it, but I think I just charged too much. So I'm going to do it in June and the price is going to be way, way lower. And I'm just going to do one day, the same amazing speakers. And um, yeah, this is all a learning process. So if there's a reason you didn't sign up, if you would let me know, that would be amazing. Um, if you just didn't feel called to it, just whatever reason at all, if it was price, if it was the date, if it was what was being offered, that would help me out a lot. But um, yeah, I would love to know if there's a reason that you didn't sign up. It would just help me out. But I have a feeling I priced myself way out of the possibility of people signing up. Um, so yeah, so I am pivoting and doing that in early June. I'm just, I'll firm up the date and I'll let you know when that is. So that's that's me. It's all a learning process here. And uh, yeah, there you go with that. Um, but that's that's what happened with the workshop. I know some people are already on the wait list for when that will happen. But I think one day will be better for a virtual workshop. I had always gone to them for weekends. So I figured I would do a whole weekend, but I think that's too much. Do one day and it'll be recorded. So and I'll just do $97 for an entire day. And like I said, the same speakers. And yeah, I think that's way more affordable. Um, and I'm open to any feedback, by the way, on these. Um, so there's that. Um, so those are different ways to feel better right now. And um, yeah, isolation is a killer. Uh, the biggest lessons learned from doing this podcast is we need community. We need to be physically together. So find some other people, some like-minded people, people who light you up and fill you and tell you that is an amazing idea. I think you should do that and help you find ways to do that. You don't want to surround yourself with any naysayers. You want people that just that really fill you up and make you feel better about yourself and make you feel better about your ideas and are like-minded. I mean, there's certain people that you can't help being around that maybe, yeah, so you know what I mean. 